Intel Drop reported a significant concentration of armored vehicles belonging to the People's Liberation Army PLA, including numerous Type 99A tanks, along with personnel, in the vicinity of Fuzhou, a port near the Taiwan Strait. This military buildup occurred in response to the transit of naval vessels from the United States and Canada through the Taiwan Strait on the same date, leading to increased military tensions in the region. China's reaction to this transit involved raising its troops to a state of high alert, demonstrating its determination to exert control over the Taiwan Strait and discourage foreign involvement in Taiwan-related affairs. The presence of this military convoy in Fuzhou is possibly linked to the heightened alert status of the Chinese PLA. However, as of the time of this article's publication, no further explanation has been provided for this deployment, which has been observed both during daylight and at night. Taiwan remains in a precarious situation, constantly facing the threat of a potential Chinese invasion. China consistently considers Taiwan an integral part of its territory, presenting an ongoing security challenge for Taiwan and its allies. The dynamics of U.S.-Taiwan relations play a crucial role in this equation. The United States maintains unofficial ties with Taiwan and openly supports Taiwan's right to determine its own future. The passage of U.S. and Canadian naval vessels through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates this support and reaffirms the principle of freedom of navigation in international waters. However, these actions also risk straining U.S.-China relations. This situation has raised international concerns because heightened military activities and tensions in the Taiwan Strait could potentially escalate into a larger conflict involving major global powers, with far-reaching consequences. Taiwan's evolving identity, with an increasing number of its population identifying as Taiwanese rather than Chinese, significantly influences its political stance and policies. President Xi Jinping has reiterated China's long-term objectives regarding Taiwan, emphasizing its commitment to reunify with Taiwan, even if it requires the use of force. The Type 99A, also known as the Type 99A2 or ZTZ, 99A main battle tank, MBT, represents an upgraded version of the Type 99 MBT. Its development began in 1999, with introduction into the Chinese Army in 2001. The first Type 99A prototype underwent testing in 2007 and was publicly revealed during a military parade in Beijing in 2015. This tank is considered a third-generation MBT and is among the most advanced tanks in the Chinese Armed Forces. In terms of armament, the Type 99A is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun with a thermal sleeve and fume extractor. The turret features a carousel automatic loader with a capacity of 41 rounds, including various types of ammunition like high-explosive fragmentation and armor-piercing rounds, boasting a reported muzzle velocity of 1,780 meters per second. Additionally, the Type 99A can launch a laser-guided missile from its primary gun, similar to the Russian-made 9M119M reflex anti-tank guided missile, with a maximum range of 5,000 meters. Concerning design and protection, the Type 99A's layout is reminiscent of Russian main battle tanks. It incorporates all-welded steel armor with upgraded composite armor on the front of both the hull and turret, enhancing protection against anti-tank guided missiles and rockets. Explosive reactive armor ERA, is also applied to the front and sides of the turret and the front of the hull. For practical purposes, a stowage basket is located at the rear of the turret. The Type 99A is powered by a 1500 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine, paired with a manual transmission featuring seven forward gears and one reverse gear. Its suspension system includes six rubber-tired road wheels on each side, supplemented by hydraulic shock absorbers on select road wheels. This combination enables the tank to reach a maximum road speed of 80 km per hour and a cruising range of 600 km, extendable to 800 km by attaching additional fuel drums to the rear of the hull. The tank exhibits robust off-road capabilities, capable of handling steep 60% gradients, 30% side slopes, vertical obstacles up to 1.3 meters, and fording waters up to 1 meter deep without prior preparation. 
The Type 99A is equipped with essential accessories and systems, including a snorkel for deep water fording, allowing it to cross waters up to 4.5 meters deep. Its advanced 1A45T fire control system features thermal sights, a new ballistic computer, and Mateo mast sensors. Furthermore, the tank is fitted with a commander's stabilized 360 degrees day-slash-night panoramic sight, complete with a laser range finder, while the gunner benefits from a roof-mounted stabilized day-slash-night sight, also equipped with a laser range finder. To counter anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, and enemy optics, the tank features jamming devices, including an infrared jammer and a laser jamming device mounted on the turret roof.